Archaeologists excavating in the Galilee say they have found a rare workshop for the production of chalk stone vessels from the time of Jesus that sheds light on Jewish practices at that time. Take a look at what I saw when I visited the site in the area where Biblical Cana would have been. Building in Israel often turns up ancient surprises, like this 2,000-year-old workshop during the construction of a new sports center in the area of Biblical Cana in the Galilee. What we have here is a cave, an artificially hewn cave, um, which was hewn out by ancient quarriers 2,000 years ago. So this was both a quarry and a workshop for the production of stone vessels. Ariel University archaeologist Dr. Yonatan Adler is heading the excavation. We have a huge amount of production waste, um, which includes both cores, uh, which were taken out from the inside of uh, mugs and bowls, which were produced here. It's vessels that, were, that had broken during the production process. Archaeologists uncovered literally thousands of these cores at the site, and what the craftsmen threw away as production waste 2,000 years ago has become a treasure today. This is an exciting find, and here for the first time we have uh, production sites in Galilee, uh, which, which we're able to excavate, uh, and to learn more about uh, the observance of ritual purity um, 2,000 years ago. The New Testament specifically mentions stone vessels and those purification laws when Jesus turns the water into wine at the wedding in Cana. Now there were set there six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews. Stone is a material that doesn't become impure as opposed to pottery vessels if they came in contact with um, something impure or a corpse or something like that, then the pottery vessel would become impure and it would have to be broken, it couldn't be reused. Israel Antiquities Authority archaeologist Yardena Alexander said stone is considered pure all the time. If the population was concerned with keeping the purity laws, then they would make sure that they'd have some of these chalk vessels in the houses. Archaeologists haven't found any large stone vessels like the water jugs at Cana at the site yet, but they hope to be allowed to continue to excavate for more ancient treasures despite the building of the new sports center.